Good morning. We'll start class in just a couple of minutes. Excuse me, little one. Thank you. So we still probably have two to three minutes. Thank you for the help. So we're using this time to just roll out our mat. Find a comfortable spot and settle in. We are going to begin standing today if you wanted to head that way. So probably another two minutes or so. We're just coming into the space, maybe making gentle movement or sitting or standing quietly as we center, coming into our practice. there are any um, accessories you'd like to incorporate into your practice today, now's a great time to grab those, to have them nearby so that you can reach over and get them if you need them. We're getting close to time. So probably yeah, maybe another minute or so, maybe a little less. Checking this out. Make sure we have some headspace for today. All right, so we are going to meet toward the front of the mat as best we can. And you can set the feet hip width distance or maybe slightly wider this morning. And go ahead and shift the weight. Feel out that foundation. And then begin to find a neutral, that nice spot where all four corners of the feet are rooted down, the toes are connected to the mat, maybe even drum them out a little bit to really feel that connection. And then we'll start to draw awareness up. So check in with the ankles, the calves, a little softness in the knees. We draw awareness up, tailbone tucks down. We'll stand tall as we let the shoulders drop away from the ears. Arms are down alongside body. A little tuck of the chin as we let the crown of the head lift tall. Take a moment here. Your strong Tadasana. Notice the breath. Begin to deepen it, allowing the lungs to expand and contract with each inhale and exhale. We'll take a nice big inhale as we reach up. 
Exhale, hands to heart center. Nice big inhale, the arms draw out and up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Aware of how the shoulders are feeling. Big breath, big deep lift. Nice stretch through side body. Exhale, hands to heart. Big inhale. This time we'll meet with the hands extended overhead. Maybe you interlace the fingers and gently tick tock side to side. Move at your own pace here. Maybe you start to press out a hip as you shift the weight, deepening that stretch through the length of the body. And the hands don't have to be interlaced here. The palms could simply shine at one another. We'll slow it down. Back to center. Bring palms to heart center. Take a breath. Notice the shoulders. Release the hands. Big inhale as we reach up. On the exhale, we'll go all the way down to forward fold. Take your time. Maybe the hands reach the floor, the shins, the thighs. You can keep fairly generous bend at the knees if needed. Let the upper body hang. And shake the head a little yes to no to loosen the neck. And then we'll take a big generous bend at the knees as we bring the belly to the thighs. And roll up. Back to Tadasana. Gazing forward, strong and steady. Inhale the hands up. Exhale to forward fold. Take a breath. Generous bend at the knees as we lower the hips, belly to thighs, and then rise up. Take a breath. We'll inhale the arms up, interlace them overhead, and then reach to the left. Shift the weight out to the right foot as you press through that hip. If having both arms overhead isn't serving you, you can bring that left hand to the left hip. A nice support here. If you're feeling nice and strong here, maybe you reach those left toes out, creating a little half moon shape. We'll inhale back up. Bring that left arm back up if it isn't already. And then opposite side. We'll take it to the right. Shift the weight to that left foot. Press through the left hip. And again, that right hand can come to right hip if needed. We'll keep the heart open to the wall in front of us. Try not to rotate one way or the other here. And you can point those toes if you need to. Or if you like to. Big stretch through the left side of the body. We'll inhale back up. Exhale as we forward fold. Take a breath. Generous bend at the knees as we root down. And rise up. We'll bring the hands around to the low back. That could be fists, it could be flat palms, one direction or the other, whatever is serving you. And we'll gently draw the shoulder blades and the elbows a little closer together. Maybe you stay right here. This might 
feel perfect for you this morning. A great stretch through the shoulders and the chest. If you'd like to deepen it, we'll stand tall. Keep that length in the spine as we gently arch back, drawing the gaze up. Stop whenever your body wants. Deep stretch through the front midline. Deep little ease in the shoulders. In and out of the shape as you need. And then inhale back up. Release the hands. Give the shoulders a little wiggle. We'll take the feet wide, kind of out near the edges of the mat, depending on your leg length. You might be a little closer, a little wider. We'll inhale the arms up. Exhale as we open to the right. Keep that softness through the knees and the hips. You can even bend them a little bit here. And we'll come back to center. Exhale as we open to the left. Nice open heart. Keep the arms wide. Coming back to center. Exhale as we open. We'll move to the breath. Open to the right. Inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Move at your pace. Inhale center. Exhale right. Inhale center. Exhale left. Back to center. Last time, each side. We'll meet back at our center. And exhale to forward fold. Let the upper body hang. Notice where the weight is sitting in the feet. If you're back on the heels, shift the feet or the hips forward slightly so that more of the weight is sitting toward the front half of each foot. So the full foot is still connected to the mat. We'll start to engage the core as we come to half lift. Nice flat back as we gaze at the mat. Exhale as we release. Soften the knees and roll up. And then we'll move the feet in slightly, bringing them back to that hip width distance. You can even go toes together, heels together here if your balance is starting to feel stable. And we'll move slowly through a sun A. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as we forward fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale as we release. Plant the hands, step one foot back and then the other. Finding a high plank, you can lower to the knees here if you like. Feeling strong and stable, core is engaged. Elbows are tight to the body as we move through chaturanga to the belly. Uncurl the toes. Inhale up to your cobra. Could be a baby cobra. Could be a full lift. We're just getting going. Exhale as you release. We'll press up to an extended tabletop. Curl the toes. Lift the hips as we find ourselves in down dog. That transition is always available for you, even if I don't call it. A nice way to get into your down dog. Now hold here for a few breaths. So feel free to explore the shape. See how it's feeling for you today. Make any little adjustments that your body is asking for. Find stillness. 
on an inhale, look toward the hands. Exhale as you bring the feet to meet them and find yourself in forward fold. We'll inhale to half lift. Exhale as you release. Big inhale draws us up. You reach tall. And then exhale, hands to heart center. So for balance today, we're going to do our three-part awkward series. And that's a balance with both feet connected to the ground. It's great for building up some of those supporting muscles that we don't always think about. So feet are going to be hip-width distance apart to start. We're going to stand tall as we draw the arms up to shoulder height, palms are down, facing the earth. And then we'll just gently sit back and find a chair. Try to keep the spine long. Tailbone is down. The gaze is forward. The weight is sitting in the heels here. You can drum out the toes a little bit, but the toes touching the mat are a nice touch point for our balance. And you can sit back as far as you want, really mindful of how your ankles, knees, hips are feeling. And we'll rise up, keep the arms where they are. As you lift the heels, come onto the balls of the feet, and you can tap down a heel anytime you need. Keep the heels lifted as you sit back and find that bar stool. Keep your focus forward, a non-moving focal point, helping you block out what's going on around you. Stay strong and steady. Don't forget to breathe. Heels lifted, we'll rise up and release everything down. The last part of our three-part series here, we'll turn the toes in toward one another. They may touch, they may not. This last piece is a toe stand. So as we lower down, if at any point your body says, I'm good here, you can stop there and know that there's more to grow into and that each day is a little different. So we'll return our arms back in front of us. That nice little counter and really keep a flat back here. Imagine you're just sliding down a wall. As you lower, the legs will press together. Use that strength to help you stabilize and then let the heels just naturally lift as you lower. Maybe you make it down into a toe stand. Maybe you're somewhere in between. You can always try the other two variations as well if the toe stand is just absolutely not serving you today. Notice how the focal point has to move as you lower. And it'll move with you again as we rise up. We'll keep the heels lifted. Rise up. And then release. Nice work. Shake out the feet. Give them a little wiggle. We'll meet back toward the front of the mat for another Sun A. Inhale the arms up. Exhale as you forward fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale as you release. Plant the hands, step one foot back, and then the other nice high plank. We'll lower through chaturanga to the belly. Uncurl the toes as you lift up. And on the exhale, we find our down dog. You can move through that extended tabletop transition. Or you can curl the toes and just head there. Hold here for a few breaths, trying to find a flat back as best we can. Hips are shifted up and back. Uh, 
on an inhale, look toward the hands. Exhale as you find forward fold. Inhale to half lift. Exhale as you release. Big inhale draws us up. We'll reach tall. And exhale, hands to heart center. We'll modify it this time as we inhale the arms up. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Maybe you change up the hands instead of shins. Maybe you go thighs. Maybe you go airplane arms. Or if you are already at airplane arms, maybe you try shins or thighs. That body is engaged. We'll release. Back to that forward fold. Plant the hands so just the right toes back. Finding a nice runner's lunge. We'll let the hips sit low. Try to stack the left knee over the ankle or slightly behind it. And then plant the hands, step the left toes back, high plank, lower down. Inhale up to your cobra. Exhale to down dog. On an inhale, look toward the hands. Exhale to forward fold. We'll keep the hands planted here as we step the left toes out to balance out that runner's lunge on each side. Nice deep stretch for the hip. We're on the ball of the left foot. Right foot is planted. Knee is stacked. Hips sit low as we elongate the spine. And return to the breath. Use the exhale to help you find a little ease in the shape. We'll plant the hands, step the right toes back, high plank, lower down. Inhale up to your cobra. Exhale to down dog. Follow a little wave through the body as we lift the heels, shift the hips back to that high plank. We'll lower the left knee, start to rotate the body that direction as we lift the right hand and come to a supported side plank. Right hand reaches to the sky. You can always bring it to the hip as well if you prefer. The right foot can stay connected to the mat, maybe that inner arch rain down. Or if you're feeling like you want to challenge, you could lift that foot up, press through the heel. If that foot is flying, return it to the mat. And gently bring the right hand back down as we rotate the body to neutral. Step the left toes back, high plank once more. Lower the right knee. Shift that, stacking the hips as we lift the left arm. Strong support through that base hand. Remember, there's modification for the upper arm if you want. You can challenge your balance here, lifting that left foot. You can lower and lift it as many times as you like. Find your neutral. And then if that foot is flying, we'll lower it down. Rotate back. Step the right toes back. High plank. Lower through. Chaturanga to the belly. 
Uncurl the toes. Inhale to your cobra. Exhale as you release. Down dog. Lower the knees, uncurl the toes, hips to heels, child's pose. And the knees can be near one another. You can take them wide to create a little extra space to melt into. Arms can be stretched overhead. You can invite in a little ease there with a generous bend at the elbows, bringing the hands a little closer in. Elbows are wide. Quick check in with the body. We'll bring the hands in as we lift up and come to our kneeling posture. Rise up, curl the toes, and then gently sit back. Big stretch for the feet and the ankles. We won't be here long. One more breath. Lift up. And we'll bring the knees to about hip width distance. We'll leave the feet curled. We stand tall and do half camel. Our nice back bend. We'll lift the left arm up. Rotate the right hand away from the body so the thumb is facing behind us. And then arch the back. Find that giant beach ball. And see if you can find the right heel with the right hand. Let the gaze draw up. Keep the heart lifted. That little string reaching to the sky. If you have a block, this can be a great way to incorporate it as well. You can set it near the foot and hold it instead. We'll lift up, lower the left arm, inhale up the right. Flip the left hand around behind, or around so that the thumb is facing behind you. Big arch, find that heel. Gently come into it, letting the gaze travel with you. Care of how the front body is feeling. That little lift in the heart. We'll inhale up. Exhale as you release that hand down. Lower the hips as we come and find a comfortable seated spot. That might be legs tucked, legs stacked, legs out of it. Whatever is serving you this morning, we'll sit tall, let the shoulders drop away from the ears, and then let the left ear fall toward the left shoulder. You could reach the right hand out here, maybe fingertips touching the mat if you like. That can add to the stretch. The hand is outstretched, bring it in. We'll lift the head to center and then let it fall to the opposite side. Right ear toward right shoulder. Notice if you start to tense up through the shoulders here. If you do, that exhale can help you release a little. Again, you could tap those fingers out if you like. Find a little ease in the legs as well. The hand is outstretched, bring it in. We'll return the gaze to neutral. Drop chin to chest. Aware of how this feels through the upper shoulders. And then draw a line with the nose all the way up to the sky. And 
bring it back to neutral. Look over the left shoulder. Keep length in the spine. And then look over the right. We'll deepen it this time. When we look to the left, we'll bring right hand to left knee. And allow the body to turn with us a bit. That might allow you to take the gaze a little further behind you. Inviting in more of a twist. Gently unwind as the gaze comes back to center. And then the gaze goes to the right. The body follows left hand to right knee. Maybe the gaze goes a little farther. Maybe it's just the eyes. Maybe we just visualize it in our mind. Try not to pressure our body into the shape. Allowing it to move. We'll unwind back to center. We'll bring hands together. Feel in our practice today. I encourage you to take kind thoughts, kind words, and kind intentions with you from now until we meet again. The light in me honors the light in you. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for our practice today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you feel nice and strong, a little more open, and that you have a wonderful week ahead. I'll look forward to seeing you back on the mat next Tuesday. Bye, everyone.